welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Even though I sound like this, I'm in a good freaking mood. Um, so I said what I'm gonna do is start vlogging today. Um, so I'm just not going back to work. So I know I'm about to have everybody in my face. How you feeling today? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? <laughs> So, yeah, y'all. So, basically, I've been out. We only had to work three days this week, and I'm going back the third day, which I should have just took out the entire freaking week. But I'm going back the third day. But I'm good. Glad I am because my supervisor had, I don't even know if I'd be getting a check Friday. He had never even, um, he just not thinking about it. I had never submitted my time. Shit. Because I was out. But, um, <clears throat> And they ain't never tell me that. Like, if they had just said something, they could have went into my account and submitted my time themselves. Because this is important. I need my check, even though I'm not at work. I need my check. <coughs> Bless me. I need all that to help me out, so I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> I got a lot going on with uh i was sick i took sick over christmas weekend and um <clears throat> it's just been rough for me since then um but i'm up today and i said i'm gonna go to work because i already was thinking about how i'm probably gonna end up having to pull a pull for my savings depending on how much paid time i have <clears throat> I'm, I feel like I'm going to have to pull for my savings because I don't know. It just depends on what Robin uh, do. I don't know how much pay time I have. Um, but for these two days, the two days is gone. I was like, man, the money. I still got to pay my bills despite the fact that my ass took sick. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to work this morning, y'all. Looking forward to a cup of coffee. Maybe even two. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm hungry this morning. But I'm okay. So anyway, I don't want to over talk y'all. <laughs> I'm going to catch y'all. I don't know. I don't know if they still barbecuing today. I done missed everything. So they probably canceled the barbecue due to the weather and stuff. I didn't even bring me any lunch, so I don't know. But what I do know is, is that um, I'm doing my fast, y'all. I'm currently 22, 26, 24, now that I'm back on track. Because when I got sick, I kind of just was like iffy. I was all over the place. Like, I went to McDonald's. After McDonald's, I think we went to somewhere else that morning. I went to KFC, so... You know, just we we just gonna look over it, okay? But anyway, so what I'm about to do right now is go in here and get everything all pulled up, <clears throat> and I'm just happy to be back today. And um, yeah, cause it's been a little minutes. I know I'm probably not the only person. That could, uh. I'm not the only person that's been going through stuff. You know, everybody has been taking sick with the weather change, and it's going from hot to cold to cold to warm to warm to hot. So, I don't know, y'all. And I've been just going by it. I've been turning on the air now. Instead of Brandon saying, just leave it off. I'm going against what he's saying. So, but anyway, I'm back, y'all. And stay tuned. I will be back. Uh, yeah, I know there's going to be a New Year's vlog. And also, while we're at the beginning, I'm just letting you know, from right now this is gonna be a 40 minute video no longer than 40 to 45 minutes because i am sick and tired of all that damn jumping these videos been doing i gotta go through this until i get my camera it is what it is i will see y'all and y'all will see it that this video will not be ending but y'all will see i'll be back <laughs> i'm sorry
What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. So I didn't got off work. I done shaved. I didn't got out the shower. So all I'm gonna do right now is probably study and read some books. Maybe do some writing. It just depends. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm drinking this shit. So mm. look, I'm so bored, and I got nothing to do. Look at what I'm watching. I'm watching P Valley, y'all. I had the camera upside down. I must be getting tipsy early. But anyway, I'm only gonna have me one cup, so. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the move for me. After work, I'm chilling. I only got in the shower. Like I said, my skin all soft. From me shaving, it's all moisturized. So I'm just about to chill out and I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow when I get up, figure out what I wanna do to get this vlog started and what we're gonna do. I love y'all, stay tuned, see y'all tomorrow. Hey, what's up, y'all? Oh, oh my god. <coughs> Yeah. Alright, I'm about to finally get out of the bed. I don't want to, but I got to. I don't got to, but I guess I will. Come off, so. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, yeah. I'm just really waking up. I'm scrolling through my phone. Then I said, let me check back in to my vlog. I think what I want to do, I need to check and see if they paid me because I was so late submitting my time, being that I had took off or whatever. Um, so hold on. But yeah, I need to see y'all if they paid me. Because like I said, I was so late submitting my time and um, time and everything. Need to get rid of that damn cough, so I'm gonna take at least one or two tops of that medicine. I don't have to overdo it, but I do need to take something. Yeah, I need to see what my check looking like because what I want to do is so I kind of got this feeling to at least go to the nail salon today because I don't never treat myself like that and um get my nails and my toes done. But if I don't, I'm going to still try to find me some, like a top or something to wear for New Year's or something. If not, I might not be worried about none of it. I'm about to fix me some breakfast this morning, though, because I can eat, eat me some breakfast this morning. <clears throat> and um, and lunch today. And then I fast for the rest of the day up until the next day. And then I do lunch and dinner. Hopefully, I'm going to have to wipe this down to my planner. Let me see how it's working out. I went to bed and be drunk, and I be drinking and eating and stuff so late. Like, I be drinking water and everything. <sighs> well, anyway, y'all, I'm actually still a bit drowsy and sleepy because I had woke up, and it was hard for me to go back to sleep. But I'm good. So, anyway, I'm going to find something to do today, y'all, because... It's New Year's weekend, and I honestly, I don't know. I got this feeling. I want to get, like, my nails white and my toes white. But I don't know. But I do. I don't know if I want to spend that money, y'all. Because we worked a short week this week, and we worked a short week. I mean, last week and this week. And whatever I got paid, if, like I said, if I got paid from last week, it'll be my check today or tomorrow. I think they're going to pay me today, though. Let me check that. Let me check that. Mommy, you see? 
Oh, hush. What do you say? Hush. I took my picture all up in there, up under the tree. Oh, your phone? Mm -hmm. We came out here early and went great and left. We don't know what he be wanting to do. I have to put stuff on my blog. <laughs> all righty y'all what's up welcome back to the channel this is the next day this is for new year's eve friday yes so what i got on my list today is to work out and go to the mall now i just put this on my list because i finished up my module two assignment for my uh school so i'm waiting on my next assignment it's for them to be mailed that way I can start on them. <clears throat> but I'm going to the mall because I didn't give my family nothing for Christmas. And I feel kind of bad because I procrastinated and uh for New Year's for Christmas Eve and I had time to get them something. So what I'ma do is just get them something for New Year's Day. <clears throat> because <clears throat> because I didn't get it for Christmas. So I felt bad, but didn't get that did it. Because I had already said I wasn't going to do that. You know, they didn't give me that either. But <clears throat> I want to see what Bath and Body Works have. Something like affordable. And if they do, then I'll get them something from there. But, um, yeah, that's what I got on my list today. Just chill. Um, You know, go to the mall. I mean, work out there. Go to the ball. Of course, y'all know about vlog. I sound like this because I'm really, I'm about to get up and drink me some hot water because I need to get this flame shit up out of me. And I didn't take no medicine last night, so whatever. But I need to get it out of me because I need my voice to be back 100% honestly by Monday. Because that's at least giving me a fresh new starting week for work. And I ain't missing, so I need to get it together. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. So. That's on my list for today. Just, uh, because I don't have anything to study. So, work out. Go to the wall. Get some things for New Year's Day, too. I forgot. I need to go to a Walmart or something to get some stuff for New Year's Day. Because we're going to be celebrating my mom again. Um, the same place we was for Christmas. We're going to celebrate over there again. So, I'm going to need to get some things. And I guess I'll do like a chit-chat or something, y'all, on the way to the mall. Just going different places. <laughs> Talk to y'all for a minute. Um, Just simply because I don't... I do do it. But, I don't know. We need... We all can use some encouragement before the New Year's. Well... In the beginning, before, whatever. Because y'all ain't going to get this vlog until after New Year's. So, probably y'all probably get it Sunday. The day after New Year's. Because that's when I'm off. And I'll be prepping for my next week of work. But anyway, so. I'm about to get up, y'all. Get my day started. I'm going to work out. Probably just work do a little workout in here. Um, Because, honestly, I don't want to go outside. I, I did. I walked yesterday. So, I'll just stay in the inside and do something. Maybe on my stomach area. And y'all know. Anyway, I love y'all. Stay tuned. I will be back today when I get myself together. Alright, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So, I done got out of um the tub. Now I'm about to get my day started uh i'm about to go to the mall and see if i can get some you know what you we might get lucky and find some end of the year sales deals whatever so what i'm about to do right now is go to the mall and just look around might do a little shopping um and yeah i might need to put target in there i can go down and go over there but i don't know I don't really feel like going to Target not today. I don't see no, well, they sell groceries too. And I could have got the stuff that I need. I know I need to hit my sister up to see what uh, I should get. Then they call my mom and see if she got that daiquiri mix up there. That way all I have to bring is brown liquor. Cause I don't 
because we we getting drunk drunk what brother new year what new year day we ain't drunk drunk mm. but anyway y'all so yeah i'm about to get ready to head to the mall and i guess we'll do a little chit chat going there so i don't honestly i would love for you guys to say your prayers and everything before the new year but of course you're gonna see this video after the fact so uh, and I'm sweating, y'all, because I just turned the air on in my car, and I just turned the air on in my house. I was leaving the air off while I was in the tub, because the girl ain't trying to get sick. Yeah. Look like everybody took sick after <laughs> Christmas, but anyway. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to the mall. So, yeah. Um, I hope Brandon don't call me. Say he was about to come because I'm leaving. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm headed to the mall, y'all. To uh, yeah, do a little shopping. I already told y'all. Anyway, I gotta turn this camera because I don't need y'all seeing where I live. I'm trying to see if it'll be quicker if I just keep straight. You know what? No, I'm gonna go through college. I'm gonna go through college. We're gonna, we're gonna just go where we know. You know? All right, we bet. So let's talk, y'all. <clears throat> Cause it seems like this will be the time that I'll be talking to y'all. Other than that, I'll be vlogging. So let's talk on the way to the mall. So lately, I just want to say that I've been manifesting, and it's been amazing. Um, I've been manifesting because I just feel like I was pushing people away, and I wasn't attracting good energy, and I wasn't happy about a lot of things. So I decided that I wanted to manifest because uh, I would get to points in times this year, it was times where I was just like, I'm sick of this job. I'm sick of branding. I'm sick of everything. So <clears throat> what I started doing is I started praying more and I just started talking positive because after watching a few YouTube videos, and if I can remember the people that I've watched thus far, I will put their links in the description box. If not, I might just go to the comments and tell y'all who they are. Um, I don't know. I do something. I try to do something, but anyway, um, Oh, that light green. That should be sweet. Ooh. Yeah, I'll be trying to beat the lights. But it's yellow now, so I might as well just chill. But yeah, anyway, so I've been talking positive uh, because they said that you're supposed to speak. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been accomplished the believe thing. Like, I used to just say, because Brandon also told me, you know, stop saying you're praying for people and you're not actually saying your prayer. So what I started doing was... um. I actually started praying. When I say I'm praying for you, I, I actually said a prayer for you. And um, <clears throat> when uh, I speak now, I, I speak as if it's already done. Like, I don't say I'm gonna, I say it, I'm, I say that too. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But I've been speaking positivity because I found out that that is the correct way to manifest. Uh, speaking that it's already been done like you're supposed to believe that it's already been done you're supposed to have the faith you're supposed to have hope you're supposed to keep praying you're supposed to keep working you're supposed to speak that it's already done so i started doing that and it's been it's been a journey you know i only start I only started it like i just checked these videos out like very recently i want to say very recently i can't even remember the days but this was very recent and um I just gained the courage from them because honestly, I've been told this. I know these things. I just haven't been doing them. So to actually start doing those things has been great. So if you going through something right now, maybe you're unhappy with your situation. Maybe you want it all to be over. Maybe you just sick and tired of struggling. Maybe you having struggles with your finances. Maybe you just sick and tired of a lot. I'm going to just say, don't think about it don't talk about it stop talking about it because it's already been discovered that you're tired of complaining you're tired of going through it you're tired of worrying you're tired of stressing and you might even be tired of living you 
ready to commit suicide. I just want to tell you, stop talking about that. Stop talking about it. Stop speaking on it. Stop speaking it. You see what I'm saying? I, don't get offended, but I'm going to tell you this. Stop it. Because unless you're doing those things for good deeds, like, because I don't know. I don't know what's going through a person's head when they're thinking about committing suicide. As I've gotten older, I, when I was growing up, people would tell us that committing suicide was just automatically not forgiveness from God. But honestly, I don't know their reason. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know what's in a person's head. And I don't know their conversation that they just had with God. Or what conversation that they had with God or Jesus. So I just don't speak on it. But I'm just going to say this. If it's for a negative thing. Like you're ready to commit suicide because you're going through something. Or, or you lost this person. And you lost that person. You don't feel no need to live. You don't feel no need or purpose to live anymore. I'm just going to say. I just want to say stop thinking it. Because life is beautiful. And the devil laughs and smiles when we speak negativity when we speak negativity we're speaking bad to happen in our life like it's common sense y'all I, I like I, I knew that all of this was common sense i knew that um what i was saying what i was thinking was wrong it was bad like you know these things but you just keep doing them you know what i'm saying because you this how you know something bad i used to ask brandon how you know right me right and wrong me wrong how you know bad me bad and good me good honestly because how do you feel like you see what i'm saying like he didn't never answer it he just went out he, he would be throwing it off but i knew the answer <clears throat> how you feel when you do something bad or wrong What's the outcome? Does good things happen? Like, does something make you feel good? Like, do you feel excited? I mean, because honestly, let's think about it. Let's talk about it. Like, we all want to feel good. You see what I'm saying? I know I'm using the words and everything to define those words, but that's basically what it is. We know when we smile, uh, we're happy. Because we, we know we, we're not going to smile we doing something bad you see what i'm saying well i don't know <laughs> i don't know you know you just don't know what, what people reasons for doing something bad you know what i'm saying because i don't know sometimes you know they say you have to do bad things sometimes in different situations to come out on the good for the end of the stick so i don't know but i know i know for me bad bad me bad and wrong me wrong good me good and right me right and i know this because i know if i do something bad i tend to get something bad back done to me or it, i just don't be happy about it like I, I just don't feel like i've done something to make me smile to make my day go by well so that's how i know the definition um but yeah so yeah y'all um just speak positivity into your life like you could be going through something just stop it like a lot I, I, I had got to the point to where I get on social media and I was reading comments and I would like I would go straight to comments on people videos and pictures and I know I'm not the only one that do this because I knew that they'll make me laugh like I knew that somebody was saying something that I was thinking and it's like girl why are you even thinking these things What's encouraging you to go to these comments? You see what I'm saying? You shouldn't be doing this. You should be encouraging these people or be happy. When a person posts a picture and that person is smiling on that picture, that person probably got a new outfit on, probably had that outfit that they wore last week. Shit, they probably washed it. But anyway, they were just happy on that picture. You can tell. It should offend you if you go to comments and you see people speaking on that they wore that last week or you ain't got no more clothes because that's what a lot of us are doing these days and it's mostly because we all are going through things like we get offended when a lot of celebrities say uh but you you, you, you don't make no money that's why you mad you 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 unhappy you probably overweight like no they they saying this because it's the truth it's the truth y'all it's the truth you you let negativity get in your head and instead of you closing it off and shutting it down, you become attracted to it and you start living in it. Listen, it's the truth. Most of the time, we're sitting up and we got so much time. Like, a lot of y'all make these fake pages. A lot of y'all... Damn, there's a lot of traffic up here. But a lot of y'all make these fake pages. A lot of y'all follow these people just to get in their comments and harass them and make them feel down. Like, you don't know. These people could have took a loss within the days. 
within today, but they decided that they was gonna smile. Like you don't know, they could have um something could have just turned them off. Like something could have you know, they could have, something could have tried, possibly happened to them. You don't know, basically what I'm saying is, you don't know if they could have been driving and almost had a wreck, but they came home and they see that, saw their family and they smiled. But then they decide to check their social media because maybe they got a business that's DMing them or somebody wants to do business with them and they get on their social media and the first DM they see is you hogging them and harassing them about a picture that they just recently posted. And they just like, why in the fuck do I see this? If I just almost had a wreck, could have been dead. I come home and I'm I'm still smiling because I could know I could have had this wreck, but I'm smiling. And I get on here and this person is hogging me and harassing me about how I look on this picture because they see me with this outfit on last week. Or they see me with these pants and these shoes on. Just know that they're human. You know what I'm saying? So when you see another person smiling and they're joyful and they're happy about something they just succeeded doing, something that they just, they just still got life today, you should be laughing and smiling with that person. Honestly, because it's not their fault that they was able to get money and, and do something successful. It's not their fault that the Lord blessed them and not you. It's your fault because you decided to be negative about a situation and make that person feel more down than what they probably was feeling because they couldn't could have almost lost their life. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of you just have to stop. Like y'all gotta stop that. Y'all gotta stop being negative because I'm telling you it's coming from what you're going through. You, you might be unhappy with your situation right now. You may want to look a certain way. You may want to feel a certain way. Let me tell y'all too. I got to speak on this. I don't have a problem with it. Nobody that has gotten surgery. Nobody that's gotten their teeth done. Baby, look, if you try to make yourself look better, if that's going to if making yourself look better, if, if, hold on, let's say this. If you getting surgery and getting your teeth done makes you look better and you know it's going to make you feel better, then do it. I support you. A lot of y'all be looking damn good. I got a compliment with you. Them hoes be looking good. Them hoes, the men and the women be looking good. Like people that take people that these are people that actually decided to invest their time into their bodies because they wanted to make themselves look good. See that that's actually a positive person. Y'all don't see that though. Like that's actually a positive person. A person that felt like I was unhappy with the way I was looking and feeling. So I wanted to make myself happy. So I decided to get this done. Like that's positive. That that's not your decision to decide. If they, they you see a lot of people getting surgeries and their teeth done because that's their business. Now, um, me, I'm not gonna do it because <clears throat> I just don't want to. There's no issue. I just don't want to. That's my decision. But I don't know because I've been getting kind of. This feeling to want to get my teeth done. But I don't want to get my teeth done because they so pretty to me. My teeth, I don't care if they giving buckaroos sometimes on certain pictures. They pretty to me. Like, my teeth, honestly, they makes me happy. My I can't drive. I'm cutting these people off. They're going to cuss me out. But anyway, my teeth makes me happy. Um, Like, I smile on a lot of pictures and you, I don't even notice what I be sitting up saying. That's why I don't worry about it. The only things that I wanted at one point, I think I wanted braces because I wanted to close up my gap. But I don't know if I just wanted braces, braces, or if I wanted the, I really wanted the, the bracket thing. Because I saw one of my cousins from New Orleans, she had them. But that ain't why I wanted them. I really wanted them ahead of time. Because I seen that people could get them instead of the braces. Because I used to hear about people struggling with braces. Like, they used to be saying how the shit hurted to get them. I, and then I ain't like how a lot of them had them rubber bands in their teeth. And I'm like, how the fuck you take our time to put rubber bands in your teeth? I don't even like to get up and brush my teeth sometimes. It's something that we're supposed to do. Because, hey, you want your breath to smell good. But let's be clear. A lot of us don't like to get up and do shit sometimes. We be lazy. So I was like, I don't even like to. Put, how the fuck y'all put rubber band on your teeth? But I ain't never know. I, I don't know if maybe they go to sleep with that. I don't know. I just never know. So that one made me not want braces no more. Because I seen why a lot of people... I heard about a lot of people saying they hurt it, and a lot of us don't even like to get our teeth pulled. So I like just to sit there and like see a break, break it or whatever it is on each teeth. It's just like, like what? You 
really sat there and got all that put on, bitch, I don't even like get my teeth pulled. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't, like, you know, just like, I don't see the point in me getting braces because I don't even want it. Like, I don't know. They say it's pain. So I was like, fuck it. If I don't get the braces, I'll just get that thing, that bracket thing. So if I do, like, if I was come up with some money, I'd probably still get that. Because it's just, you just want your teeth to be straight. You, you could... Uh, your teeth, my teeth, I feel like my teeth like right here is a little crooked and it could be something that I ate, it could be anything y'all, I've I fallen out of car like I fell out of car, I feel like, uh, hey, four wheel of wrecks I, like I'm from the country I'm not saying just cause you're from the country you should do that cause I know people who ain't did none of that <laughs> but I'm from the country y'all, I done did a lot of shit, like got out of pool scratched my leg to the white meat like, you see what I'm saying, got no tough no, no chains or no no choice but to be a little rough and tough. I'm actually glad and grateful, thankful for all of that because it gave me the strength to deal with a lot of my life choices and things that have happened today. So I made it to the mile, y'all. I know I didn't probably been on here talking for 10, 12 minutes, probably longer than that. Uh, but we made it to the mall, so I'm gonna catch y'all when I get in the mall. My first stop is Bath and Body Works, bitch. Cause I'm trying to get my family something. <laughs> Cause I didn't get that nothing for Christmas. And ooh, the mall doesn't look that bad. Like I'm used to seeing a lot of traffic. It's one o'clock. I'm glad that I came. Yep, so I can get this shit over with. Cause I probably ain't gonna spend no more than 30 minutes to an hour in here. She did take you 10 minutes to get to a store. The damn mall so damn big. It take you 10 minutes to walk all the way to a store. <laughs> It's about to take me, see, I got to walk way over here to the entrance of the mall. It, it depends on the parking spot I find. It's going to take me five to ten minutes to get inside the mall. So, I, I can't complain. Yep. See, I don't know, though. I'm trying to find a closer parking spot because I know somebody parked close. Like, I, I don't want to be so far back here. But it got parking spots back here, but I don't want to be as far back. So, I'm going to make another loop. So, anyway, I'll catch y'all when I get into the mall. You got a whole collection. Yeah, that's how my first Girl, that like my bad and body works. Yeah. Mom, what you did with your uh, body spray? No, this girl put her body spray under there. What's about to get that right here? I should have brought uh, I the fireworks show where? Well. Louisiana don't even supposed to be shooting fireworks. They say Louisiana, they could get a $500 fine and six months in jail. But Louisiana ain't never stopped shooting fireworks. Hey, you see what I be telling people? When you're dead, you're done. Happy New Year. I decided to stay with my mama and she's in there cooking gumbo. I don't want to get in that tub though. She's literally in there cooking gumbo. 
and it's one song in the <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me. Man, y'all, she got cooking gumbo. I'm leaving her ready now. I want to get up and see what she doing, but I'm really kind of comfortable right now. So, I'm going to catch y'all in the morning. That is actual. Well, I'm in the, some hours. And we're going to turn on. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, I'm about to read right now, though. So, I get y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So today is Sunday. <clears throat> Turn this tape shut up. Oh, AC. Yes. Anyway, y'all, so today is Sunday. And um, I'm about to head to the grocery store. Y'all know today's, I usually do my usual um drive around. Me not drive around. I do my usual stock up for the rest of the week. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to Walmart and get a few things. I'm not spending that much money on groceries simply because I get irritated when I do that and I see stuff just sitting there and then stuff go to expiring. So like when y'all be seeing a lot of people could do a, a huge grocery shopping thing, I just be looking like, how in the fuck are y'all gonna eat all that before it expires? Like, who's literally sits up eat all this food before it expires? Like, even if you had a house full of people, well, like, well, if you had a house full of people, then you could do that. Because it's always somebody greedy in the house. But me, I'm not greedy, y'all. I could buy bread, and bread is sitting there a whole week before I probably touch it. Or I could buy, like, I got a piece, like, pieces in there. If it wasn't for Brandon, my pizza, um, my pieces would be still in there because I hadn't even ate them. But anyway, and I'm now I'm down to only eating two times a day, so I'm not gonna be eat three times a day. My next time I'll be eating will be dinner time, so it's gonna be between five and six o'clock. So right now I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff out the way, so that around dinner time <clears throat> I can just eat. I pulled some hamburger meat out and I pulled some chicken out simply because I just need them to thaw out, because I know that I'm gonna want to eat probably one thing two days and then another thing the next two days. It's just that's what I'm going with. And good thing is, well, I don't know if it's a good thing. It kind of puts me behind, but I don't have my module three things, so I don't have to do any school studying or any school work. Um, and I'm going to use my wipers. But yeah, I don't have to do any studying right now. Uh, yeah, I don't have to do any studying. All I got to do is really just write. Yeah, and I'm reaching out. I reached out to one filmmaker uh, today, but I'm probably going to email another one or maybe two more. Because um, if y'all don't know, I'm working on something. I thought I told y'all, though, on one of these videos. If it wasn't on this channel, it might have on the other channel, on the cover channel. But anyway, I'm working on something big, and I'm trying to bring something good, something interesting to watch. Y'all know we be having our times where we don't have our shows be going off on TV. Like me, I love to watch Power and Power is going off until January 9th. Sisters is going off until January, I think. The Oval, I think that's going off. No, it might not be going off. No, I think the Oval is still on and I think the Oval is still on and it's another one that's still on Ruthless. I like to watch Ruthless now because they don't show a lot of that shit that they were showing on season one. It's too much going on on season one, so I watch Ruthless. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. 
So anyway, those shows still on, but they only come on once a day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to bring something to YouTube that y'all like to watch. Because I got some stuff in the works that's going to consist of me putting in the work and actually performing in the work. And yeah, so we're going to have some fun. We're doing all that this year. Y'all, I'm just, I'm sorry, but i just been feeling a lot better this year. Last year was great. It really was. 2021, thank you for the setup. Thank you for the new the transformation. And just thank you. I'm grateful. 2022, this is the year that we put more into everything. This is the year that we just go. We just we just do what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? This is the year that we show ourselves more love. And, yeah. I ain't talking about no new year, new me. You know, I ain't going out there. <laughs> but I, I say new year or even better me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't going out late and she did be going new year new me but anyway so y'all y'all know today I'm doing my grocery shopping and cooking and prepping for the week so I'm about to uh, give me some gas so I wouldn't have to come out because I can tell that it's going to be cold only time I want to come out is to go to work and come back to the crib so I'm about to gas up for the week and um, then I'm going to go to the grocery store and give me some groceries um, so I wouldn't have to come out and do all that looking for food so yeah that's what i'm about to do right now i'm about to gas up then i probably come back once i see y'all once i probably come back once i get in walmart and i probably not i might just wait till i get to the crib because i'm gonna close out this vlog so you can go ahead on and get edited and then get posted and y'all already know don't get offended but y'all cannot get any more 50 minute or longer videos because for some reason my phone can't take the pain it's doing uh -uh. So I guess I'll get over here then Cause that thing got a caution tape on But yeah my phone can't take the pain Of Yeah My phone can't take the pain of Tolerating the long Hour long video So without it jumping and flinching in the camera So that's why I said I ain't gonna be able to give y'all no long It's your video It's gonna be 45 minutes Alright, I hope y'all can see me. Y'all know sometimes you have to just stop and stare at these cameras because for some reason they be acting like they don't know what's going on. Alright, y'all. I'm about to um head on over here to Walmart so I can get out. I mean, get out this weather. I'm about to be washing less as possible too, y'all. I'm going to wash every two weeks now. I'm sorry. But I ain't about to be out in this weather because the one thing about the two things for certain, I would get sick in a minute. I don't personally think it's my immune system that's weak, but I don't be feeling it up like I should, fueling it up like I should. And um, I don't dr dress appropriate enough for the weather. For some reason, I think I'm queen of... <clears throat> summer yes but yeah so um yeah um i'm sorry the video clip cut off y'all i don't even know what i was saying but i'm about to head to walmart and uh do me a little grocery shopping and like i told y'all so cold i don't know if i'll film when i get in there or do all that i just don't know only thing i might do is go up in there and try to take no more than 10 to 15 minutes to get that shit and get the hell on out so i can come to the crib um, I might wash, I might not. Yeah, I know I told y'all I'm watching this as possible. <laughs> so I'm gonna be back, y'all, once I um get into Walmart. I can't see any those people. Guess what, y'all? They got True to the Game 3 on YouTube. So once you watch this video, hopefully they don't been to take it down. Go watch True to the Game 3. I'll probably go have this video posted tomorrow. But look, I ain't lying, I'll show y'all. During emergency surgery, you wanted to cardiac arrest. Free game. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, so I'm about to um, <clears throat> just chill out. Put some groceries up because I done did my little grocery shopping. I'm not washing the day I wanted to, but the wind is ridiculous. I don't even know if I'll be going to work tomorrow. Because when I tell you, it looks like it's going to snow. It's literally in the 30s. It's in the 30s. 
But I'm finna watch. Enjoy TV. I got my heater on low, cause we don't need that on high. <laughs> I feel good. I'm about to put these groceries up. And this is gonna be the end of this vlog. I'll catch y'all in the next video. I don't know what the next video will be. I don't know if it'll be a vlog or sip and chill. I just don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll be ready.